for Frick's sake, guys, we don't talk about Bruno! Taking place in Colombia is where a magical family live in a magical house where each member of a family has a magical gift. But except for Mirabel Madrigal, who discovers the magic ever since the house is broken down a little. Even the town has been broken down a little too. Now, a few hours ago, I just got back from watching Encanto at Cinemark Pearland, and what do I think of it? It was awesome! Let me explain why this movie has a lot of magic, meaning why this movie was fun. 1. The premise A premise about a family who lived in a magical house is creative. 2. There are so many Hispanic representation, as a Venezuelan and Mexican. 3. There is a lot of likable characters. My favorite characters in this movie are Bruno and Ant Antonio. For, like recent Disney movies, the animation is unique to look at. 5. The songs in this movie are fun and hearable to hear. Or listen throughout the film. Shout out to Lin-Manuel Miranda. 6. Great voice acting. 7. It has a pack of vibrant colors. 8. This film manages itself to have emotional moments, even Abuela's backstory. And 9. You know what I'm gonna say ever since the intro? We don't talk about Bruno. So yeah. Now, before I wrap up this review, do I have any flaws? Well, one actually. My only flaw with this movie is that it may have some flashing and epilepsy effects in one scene. One scene, you mean? I mean, there's that scene where it has flashing epilepsy effects, even when Mirabel was chasing for Bruno since he caught him. There was thunder. But hey, at least it's not epileptic like The Incredibles 2 where Elastigirl is fighting screensaver, you know what I mean, so yeah. Overall, Encanto was a really fun ride, or movie, you know what I mean. If you want to see this movie, if you're, if you're good seeing this movie in the theater, what are you waiting for? Go watch it. Or you prefer to watch this movie on Christmas Eve when it comes to Disney+, Plus? then it's fine. Still, this movie was awesome, I highly recommend it. I'm very proud of my Hispanic culture. So I'm gonna give Encanto a 9.1 out of 10. So yeah everyone, that's my short review on the movie that I recently saw at the theaters named Encanto. My next movie I'm gonna review slash watch is Disney Plus's Diary of a Wimpy Kid. The 3D animated one. I mean, I get that the new Diary of a Wimpy Kid animated movie is like 58 minutes long, but hey, I'm still gonna review it, however. And after my review on Diary of a Wimpy Kid, I'm gonna see Paramount Animation's Rumble and review Rumble. So yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Adios!